Hey Legionnaires and welcome back to Middle Earth. We have a lovely land battle here for you today and this one starts off pretty damn quickly. And I've been told it's a little bit of a silly battle but I'm still looking forward to seeing how this silliness takes place. I'm told it's still a fun one but yeah very very strange tactics are taking place. And yeah we have a goblin army here made up of a lot of goblin archers and pole arms. So I have a feeling we're going to see a very sort of camp, uh, sort of like a camper heavy sort of like anti-cav uh, fact, uh, like sort of build here, which is what we have against a very much a cav army. Yeah, lots of Gwynian sentries here going up against a lot of polearms. So they are not going to be fighting off against each other very well. Looks like we have Imlagers here with his Noldorian Rangers and we also have uh, Noldorian Horsemen. So it looks like they've gone for an all cav sort of build along with the part, apart from the general um, who is uh, Elrond by the looks of it. And then we have over here, we have the Haradrim who have brought, it looks like an actual proper army. Uh, and the baby mummocks over here are having to deal with these uh, Noldorian Rangers. It seems like they're doing some damage to them, you know, 54 out of 60 dead. I don't know if that's from the archers or whether it's from the mummocks. Um, or whether they've just been, yeah, just been caught by others. It looks like the camera riders might have had a fight with them, potentially. But we'll see. See how good the uh, Elven player's micro is, see whether they can keep these guys at bay. But yeah, it looks like the, look at this, the Gwynian sentries trying to wrap their way around and uh, yes, let's see how this one goes. Definitely is going to be a very meme fight. I hope you guys do enjoy this uh, very quick action-packed battle. If you do, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. If you want to see more Dawn Stays action, maybe some few more serious th uh, battles, do remember to uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of those battles to come. And we're going to have some more streams as well for Dawn Stays very shortly. I'm looking forward to those. But yes, we've got, it uh, looks like you can see here the... Um, Harajan player and also Dorian kind of getting dragged all over the place. And we're going to see a charge here from the uh, Imladris player going in for the Umbar infantry. And there you go, Umbar yourself is getting flattened. And the Yadun Nakori might have also taken some hits there as well. Yeah, losing about 20 odd men in that as well. And that was a really good hit there by the Nold Dorian horseman. Massive, massive hits. And here we go. Cav fight actually getting underway. I feel like this is not in the uh, not in favor of Imladris. He should not be engaging this. Because it's going to allow the Mummox now to. Uh, get it stuck in and fight the elves. And Mummocks are really good anti-cav units. They, they just need to be able to catch them first. And yeah, the Gwynian sentries are definitely not great cav units. They are not going to be able to uh, to win this fight here. And camera riders are getting focused down. He's really desperate to try and catch the raid, uh, the, the rangers. He really should be trying to just kill this off, uh, kill off this elven cav, which is murdering his allies cavalry here. And he could really turn some of these fights around. It looks like we're going to see the, uh, the rangers as well going for a charge onto the camel riders. There you go. Decent charge there. And in come more uh, Noldorian horsemen as well. And again, the Mummocks, they're not doing anything. They just need to uh, get it stuck in. Uh, we have a Duna Cori. Uh, it looks like he's just standing off with them. Uh, Goblins there does not want to be staying there, that's for sure. But winning has managed to get in among some of the goblin pole arms though, and he seems like he's doing a lot of damage to these ankle biters down here. Trampling over them, and yeah, that's considerable damage to that goblin spear warrior there, but he needs to be careful with his own Vine Lord Bien general there, you know, going in and getting himself a little bit beaten up. They usually need to use their uh, archer ammo, yeah, the serpent archers focusing down, but it does look like the goblin and the heavy bow infantry are doing the same. They're focusing down the serpent archers as soon as they get into range. Whether they can just, you know, there was an opportunity while the uh, formation was not set, uh, properly set up that they could have maybe got in and got in amongst the archers here with the cab. Fine Lord Bien going in again, charging to the spears. It's a good idea while they're setting up to charge these guys. And you can see here, look at this. Infantry just getting picked off. Cav, an arch. Oh gosh, the cab has managed to get in amongst these archers that were retreating from the goblin bows. And this is not looking good. The Adun our our Belgas are here. There he is, he's looking a little bit sheepish. He's like, oh gosh, I should not have come to this battlefield. I should have sent this some subordinates. He's getting absolutely destroyed right now by uh, cavalry. I mean, there is an uh, elven cav somewhere amongst this. It's like uh, Dorwinian is going to save his allies general for now. But yeah, the elven cav causing a lot of problems. But numbers for Dorwinian seem like they are starting to go in favor of them. They're surrounding the uh, elven cav now, causing these guys to lose. But Noldorian range is not finished. They're going to keep shooting from a distance and the Noldorian horsemen as well, rear charging, trying to do some damage here as well. Broken and yeah, yeah, look at this. Still a lot of cav here for Dorwinian. They need to try and make it massive. They need to get in amongst the archers. Go for the uh, goblin heavy bows. Don't worry about these pole arms. He's going to try and rear charge Elrond here. It's not a bad target. 
It's not the target you need to go for, it's the archers, really. Archers with the pole arms, but even if they kill like one of the pole arms off, they can't just tighten the, tighten the noose. And he has pulled through there, he needs to be careful of that, he's the Dorwinian player. Doesn't really want to pull through a unit. Going to lose more men from it, and it's also cheating. There he goes, losing one of his uh, Dorwinian sentries there. There's a big gap in line here, I'd just like to say. Again, if uh, the, like, I don't really want to, I don't know what to call them, the Haradrim and the Dorwinian sort of alliance can get amongst that. That's a, a big win. There are pole arms as well getting stretched, uh, pulled out of formation here where they're chasing a routing unit. They've been caught by the uh, Dorwinian player there. Very nice done. And it looks like also Nodorian horsemen trying to get rear charged on these Adunakori. Are the Mumuks dead? Looks like they might be. Oh, they are. These guys died. I don't think they did anything. Uh, looking at like the bodies around, looks like they just got shot to pieces by Nordorian Rangers, which is the problem. There, are, it's such a good way to count them. It's just the Rangers. Good, uh, good combination here. Got Gwydian sentries and Adun Rikori taking out this shock infantry, uh, this pole arm infantry. Sorry, by the uh, goblins. God, High Chief Dane Guard now getting uh, stuck in against the Dune Rikori. There you go, you got Umbai Surfers breaking a Dune Rikori, I think just generally breaking across the line. I think uh, that might be uh, Harad out of this game. Yeah, I'll. I'll our Belgazar, I think, might Enemy either have died or he's just... I think it's just army losses. Yeah, I think actually he's just shattered him there. And now it's just the Cav left. And we've got to see how Dorwinian deals with this. I mean, they need to deal with the uh, Elven Cav first. Uh, the problem is the Elven Cav is, like, very light. Is the uh, is melee Cav here, the Rangers, which are also a hybrid unit, really. And the Gwydian Sentries are medium. So they're still pretty speedy. But certainly not as speedy. They are chasing down these uh, Elven uh, Lancers here, the... Uh, Moldorian horsemen doing a decent job there getting rid of them uh, fire ammo here breaking some of the sentries but yeah I mean as you can see numbers still way in favour of the goblins and the elves but there's still a lot of cav here for Dorwinian I wouldn't say it's over just yet he's got to try and like combine try and kill off surround these uh, these rangers and try and come off that way he can't take them on in a one on one the rangers will, uh, will beat him these are probably the best cav in the game by a country mile. In a 2v1, I think you can kill them. Pin them down with one unit and then rear charge them with another. He's actually winning this fight already in a one-on-one. -on -one. I take it back. They are the best cab in the world. The Gwydian sentries are. They're clearly the best. They're getting chased down. They just keep going towards it. If you can do this right, the uh, Dorwinian player, and just sort of like have this uh, Gwydian sentry go right, have another one go left, you can pin them by the red line because I mean you can get the out of this position. Yeah, I was gonna say you need to you need to like maneuver it into the corner so it's by the red line. I mean, to see the Elven player here is having no issues sort of getting out of that that issue. So uh, he's avoiding the problems there. The uh, Noldorian Rangers again here though they're getting surrounded slowly. They need to really just tuck in now with this uh, Gwynian uh, sentry. There you go, go in, tie it down. Yeah, he's sort of caught it. I think he needs to do the uh, the move a little earlier. They are descending now onto the Elven Cav. I'm going to keep stabbing them up. Stabbing these boys up. There you go. That's another uh, Nolorian Ranger God. I don't know if the goblins... Well, they're on their way slowly. They've got short legs, the goblins short legs and they're only infantry they don't know yeah they aren't going to be able to catch up with this cav fight but it looks like the cav fight I think is going to be won here by Dorwinian which just means can Dorwinian then get in and around the goblin formation cause problems he's going to have a difficult time because uh, they have range capabilities and also his pole arms his anti-cav really but if he manages to get caught out on the charge uh, sorry on the march the goblin player he could be in for a real problem because I just charge into him Moving infantry units while uh, being charged often suffer a lot of casualties. Uh, this Noldorian Ranger, by the way, has earned two silver chevrons. I don't know if, uh, they might have all started on maybe one silver chevron. So he's earned a chevron. Oh, 
Fly John, boys. Don't know what's gone wrong in the world that Elrond's fighting with the goblins um, and you've got Dorwinian fighting with... Uh, well, fighting with Harad, yeah. It's just, see, I mean, I guess there's an Eastern Alliance against, against I don't know, the Central and Western Alliance, if you like, look at geography of Middle Earth. And this is, looks like how they're going to try and get rid of these Gwynian sentries. He's going to use fire arrows instead of normal arrows. And it has just routed them. You can see their uh, minus six morale with the fire projectiles. They should re rally, I think, the Gwynian sentries. Um, they might not, though. It's it's quite possible. They, well, there you go. They, uh, they did. The they are like mid tier in, uh, mid tier cavalry, so. That, that not uh, re rallying wouldn't be surprising. Um, but yeah, as you can see now, there's not much left. They've just dealt with the remaining uh, ca uh, Cavion over there. And it just leaves this one Noldorian horseman, which is very healthy. She can probably do a lot of damage to uh, these Gwydian sentries. And I think, yep, he's going to go back in. He's going to try and catch the archers out. Well, just fast forward a little bit, see if he catches them. I think he will here. No, he will not, because he gets fired. And there you go, they routed. And that is um, very much gone. And here we go, we have a charge. Going on in. I wonder how what what more of this battle there was going to be. I didn't know if uh, one side was going to capitulate or the other. But it looks like they're going to take it like slowly, kind of work out how they're going to win this one. If you're winning in century, here, I think we'll lose them with the combination of the high chieftain's guards and also the cav. Uh, like it's probably probably a loss for them there. I mean, if they can get another recharge in here, the Gwynian centuries, they can probably route that goblin unit. Here we go into the back. Yeah, I think they're fairly exhausted. I think that's why they're not going to fly, but it should still route this unit, I'd have thought. They are very elite. Well, elite, very heavy infantry. Will take a while, the but there you go. Battle. They got routed. Um, and he is now sort of winning this fight, Noldoran Horseman. Yeah, uh, they're winning slightly, but also so is Gwydian Sentry. So everyone's a winner, apparently. But yeah, they pulling back this one. It's going to try and maybe recharge, I'd imagine. Uh, but it looks like they, they are routing. Yeah, it's just. It's just these guys are just not as strong as that Noldorian horse. And yeah, they, he's pulling them out is actually, I think, causing them to rout, which is a part of the problem here. Um, but yeah, it looks like we can see the winning soul hiding this corner to start with for a little while. And I think I'm just going to fast forward a little bit while we wait to see what goes on. Our there you go. The winning sentries here uh, getting charged down by the Cav. And they're, yeah, they're pretty much gone. And now we're going to see, well, they're going to try and take out Elrond. Take off the head of the snake that is Imladris. Run from the enemy. This is shameful. And uh, yeah, guards Imladris. They'll take the charge quite easily. And there you go, saved by the Noldoran horses. And it looks like now the Goblin Heavy Archers are just going to go forward on their own. And they're probably just going to try and mow down the Cav. The Cav's going to try and mow down the Archers. They really need to not charge on a line like this. Try and go wide. Try and stretch the Archers a little bit. Make them uh, try and like aim in different directions. Just so that they're... Um, Volley is not as effective, but it looks like the player is going to charge head on like this. And that's probably going to do a whole lot of damage to morale with all that fire arrows coming in. They are going to make it though. The Vinyl Bienz are going to make it here. And here he goes. Commit. One last hurrah for Dorwinian. Dorwinian trying to recreate that sort of charge at Ministerius, and there you go. I think army losses, even though these guys were winning, army losses are coming to play. And the goblins win. Uh, so, yeah, this is a bit of a, a meme -y sort of game. Uh, Omens uh, sent this one in. So, thank you very much, man, for sending this one in. Even if it was a bit silly, it was certainly fun to watch and see some last breath is always great as well. But, uh, yeah, so the uh, goblins played by Omens didn't get many kills. Uh, I mean, fighting horsemen that were never going to get many kills but yeah like 87 kills with archers there 80 kills with his hive chief dane's guard um 87 with a pole arm and then we've got ego simply who got the real kills um with playing as imladris is a noldorian rangers 222 kills uh 304 with a noldorian horseman uh 246 with another one there then we have uh nash playing as uh, the Haradrim, 81 kills with R. Belgazar before he fell, 99 kills with the Umbai Usurpers, 201 kills with the Aduna Kori, and then, yeah, nothing else, much really getting kills. Mummox getting two, oof. Then Comfortable Chair playing as the Darwinian army, uh, just a cab spam. 160 kills with the Vine Lord Bien, did very well there. Um, 88 kills, 80 kills with the sentries there, but yeah, these guys aren't that great, that's why you can spam them out. 
um, because they, they are just medium cav at the end of the day. But, but there you go, guys. That is today's a bit silly, but, you know, still a glorious uh, Dawnless Days battle to watch. It's always fun to see. Maybe some less played ba uh, factions as well. Harad and certainly Dorwinian, we you rarely see these days being played. But, yeah, still a fun one. If you did enjoy and want to see more, maybe some more serious battles and sieges, then do check out the ones now appearing on your screen. And don't forget to leave a like, sub, and all that shenanigans. And I'll see you guys in the next one.